Hello everyone, this is Katie and we are doing a voiceover today for this video. I decided to, as you all know, the actor who played Hagrid passed away recently and Harry Potter was like really important to me as a high schooler. That's kind of when it started coming out and got popular. Anyway, I wanted to paint a little picture of Hagrid just uh, in memory of him. So today I was using the Caran d'Ache gouache set, the pan set, which I really like it, but it's more much more transparent than using the Hemi gouache. So you gotta do a bunch of layers, kind of more like watercolor almost. But I, I just like it. it's more convenient to get out than the big massive Hemi set. And after trying to re-wet all of those, I just did not want to do that again. <laughs> so, anyways, Harry Potter. I was a senior in high school, not when Harry Potter first came out, but because I kind of avoided it for a while because everyone was so talking about it, I was like rebelling and not having much interest in it, purposely trying to ignore it. But then they started talking about the first movie and I thought, well, the movie looks kind of good, but I won't watch that movie until I've read the book. So that's when I started to read the book. And after I read that first book, it was like, this really is the most amazing thing ever. Now I know why everyone was talking about it. So it was my senior year of high school, I believe, when the first movie came out. And I actually got asked out on my first date. Actually, no, I guess technically it wasn't my first date, but it was the first date for this particular person that I liked. And he asked me out and we went to go see Harry Potter. So. Um, it's kind of funny too because the first Harry Potter I had my first date with that person who that person I ended up having a significantly long three-year relationship with but didn't work out and the first date that I ever had with my now husband was the Harry Potter movie number five I think I'm not exactly sure but I just sometimes think that's funny. Throughout the whole Harry Potter saga, my life changed enough where, but I had two first dates of Harry Potter with two different people. Anyway. <laughs> um, so here I'm painting this leather color of his vest which I kind of had a hard time with the color. I kept wanting to make it more red, but then it, it would just turn into a too similar of a color of his shirt. So it uh, was definitely kind of hard to get the color right for that. But, and like I said, this squash is transparent. So you got to use more layers to get the darks that you want. But with all, all painting is kind of like that. You just gotta keep doing layers. I remember when I saw, first saw the movie, Hagrid, cause you picture him in your mind and then you wonder if they're gonna get it right is he really going to look like what you think he does? But I think they did a good job with him. His, he looked like, we, well, he was supposed to, I think. And he did a really good job.
I also had a hard time making sure my hand wasn't blocking what you could see when I paint and I was quite unsuccessful at times so um, still getting used to trying to film myself paint it's, it's more complicated than you imagine when you, when you think I could do that that's just I'm already doing that and you just put a camera on but you got to remember that people can't see you when you're blocking the camera with the back of your hand or your head. I got my head in there once too. <laughs> I sped this video up to make the to make it fit in the time frame, but sometimes it got a little jittery slow, which I'm assuming has to do with my computer not being powerful enough, but I'm not sure. Maybe I just did something wrong. Still learning video editing, so. <laughs> yeah, see, I fast forward, I just painted some hair in his beard a little bit. That's my dog. Probably seeing someone walk down the street from the window. So I kind of enjoyed painting the background of this. I guess that's because I felt like that's what I paint usually, landscapes, so I kind of know more, I feel more comfortable knowing what I'm doing, painting trees and leaves. But sometimes it's very relaxing just to sit and paint leaves because takes a lot of repetition, so you don't have to think a lot, but you're still painting and it's very relaxing. My son has been reading the Harry Potter books. He's been checking them out at the library at school and reading them. He's in book number four, I believe. And we've watched two movies, first and the second movie. Although watching, getting him to sit down for the whole movie is sometimes hard. He's a little, likes to move around and gets bored easily even when it's something he likes, like Harry Potter. But that's been fun watching him learn about Harry Potter and know things. He's actually gonna be Harry Potter for Halloween this year. So that's cool. When your kids actually willfully like something from your childhood, that doesn't happen very much. <laughs> Usually I'm like pinning them down, look at this cool thing. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's kind of cool about Harry Potter. It can reach multiple generations. It's still cool now, even though it came from a while ago. There, I got some of the grass in. And I think I'm gonna work on the huts in the background soon, maybe. Yep. 
Those were kind of cool to paint too. They had a lot of texture of the stone or wood or mud or whatever it's made out of. And that's just, that's a large part of painting is just getting different textures to look right, to represent what you're trying to represent. I remember struggling with color a little bit here too, but if you just keep going and trying different shades, it eventually gets there to something that you're happy with, happier with. I had always planned to start this and get it mostly done and then finish uh, the details in the face and other areas with colored pencil. Just because I thought that would be easier than with a paintbrush. Because you can, it's a small, it's an 8 by 10 piece of paper, so trying to draw the tiny face marks, I was worried about that with a paintbrush. So I did end up doing that with colored pencil, and unfortunately I, I wasn't filming that, though I thought I was. But I do show at the end after I put, added the colored pencil. You just don't see me with the colored pencils. I really liked when I added this dark part in the doorway with the the warmer brown color in there and outlined with the black. I thought that looked cool. That gave it some depth. On here, adding some of that stone texture, that makes a big difference too. One of the cool things about starting this YouTube channel is it gets me the motivation to paint things more, to, you know, just try to think about art every day. And I like that, so it's always easy to just put it off, but if I feel like it's for a purpose and I have some accountability to someone who might want to watch it, then I don't know. It feels like <laughs> it feels like I can get up and do it more. So I'm hoping that will continue and that I can make a lot more art consistently. Because that's the only way that you get better is consistent practice. 
people always think it's just talent. That you're just born with the ability to draw, but that's really not it. It's about how much time you sit down and practice and learn. It might be that certain things come easier to learn to some people, but not always. It's just it's just practice. When you use gouache, the dark colors dry lighter and the light colors dry darker. So I found myself going back over things a lot because they didn't dry as dark as I wanted. Or I felt like they needed more color. That's my hand moving the camera. <laughs> oh, I see what I'm doing. I colored in with the colored pencil on his face. So I'm just showing the end. So thank you for watching this. Uh, please subscribe and like my videos. Um, I'll keep making more and see you in the future. Thank you.